everybody. It's Joyce here, Shadow Bay Tarot. What a little line you bringing you the Tarot Love Tea for the Zodiac sign of Gemini. Gemini in love. October 2020. We're going to use the Gilded Tarot for this reading. Keep in mind, guys, this reading is general. If you'd like a private reading with me for your situation, just email me here, shadowbayutarot at gmail.com. And also, thank you guys if you are new to my channel and welcome. <clears throat> Please hit subscribe. <laughs> Give me that thumbs up. Share my videos. Comment down below and hit that notification bell so that you know each and every time I upload new videos and go live here on YouTube with Super Chat where I answer your love tea questions live all right guys just gonna roll it out gemini in love spirit give me the messages please the most current energies for gemini in love what are the strongest most dominant energies for the love life of gemini Keep in mind, guys, these messages will not resonate with everyone. Take what does and leave the rest. Some of you guys are missing someone who is at a long distance. You want a new beginning with this person. Waiting for the right time is what I'm getting. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus or Sagittarius person. Aries is here. Somebody wants a long-term commitment. Well, somebody needs to shit or get off the pot, huh? Because I can just tell y'all Waiting to take action is not the smartest thing to do. All right, let's get to it. Somebody could be hearing from a Scorpio. All right, here we go. Sagittarius in the house, Queen of Wands. Yep, we have the Three of Wands. Definitely, definitely somebody out there is dealing with a Sagittarius person coming towards them. Your ships are coming in with this person. Action is being taken for sure. <laughs> Queen of Wands, she's not a slacker. She goes after what she wants. And you know what? If she wants to be with you, communication-wise, physically going towards you that's what she wants and her intention with you is that four of wands energy i saw in the shuffle i'm telling you right now here we have someone who's been a little indecisive about eh, is this what i really want for somebody some of you out there after this person comes to you, this is you. This is you, Gemini. What do I do? Is this what I really want? Even though you do have clarity. You're not confused about how you feel about this person. It's more or less how you feel about yourself is what I'm getting not feeling like you are up to par, up to their standard moral code, whatever this case is. We have the strength card, you see, insecurities. That's what this is. This is coming from your energy. That's Leo energy, but this is coming off of the Gemini side more so. Now, it could be that person is insecure. It's not impossible, okay? But the strongest energy I'm picking up is off of Gemini 
with the insecurity. We have the King of Pentacles. Maybe some of you feel, yeah, that you need to build your wealth a little bit more, your financial security. However, you actually are in a good financial position. This is your own insecurity about finances. You know, yeah. Your person is ready to build, wanting to start a solid foundation, and you want the same thing. But you worry if you have enough. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo also. Yeah, the goal here is you want a family with this person. This is their goal as well. Y'all on the same page as far as your intentions with each other. A lot of pinnacles here, guys. Some of you may have experienced a little bit of a financial loss, but you are going to regain that. Now, that could be why you're concerned. It wasn't a hit that was devastating, though. And it's being built back up. The Nine of Swords, Sleepless Nights. But you are going to take that leap of faith. We have Aries here. Oh, the plot thickens. Okay, so we have the Three of Swords and the Five of Swords. Either you or your person... left in the past cut out this is a reconciliation is what this is because somebody broke up with the other person in the recent past why is the three of swords here please why is the three of swords here whoa 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 yep emperor energy and aries and the chariot came out so Whoever the masculine is, whether it's you or your person, whoever. This could be male or female. We, both, we all have masculine and feminine energies. You know who you are. You know, this is your story. You know who you are. Whoever left, went, they left to focus on career is what I'm picking up, leaving that love behind, leaving that happiness behind. Mm-hmm. Or some of you, maybe it was a third party person, but I'm really picking up Career as the heaviest energy, the strongest energy. Somebody was more career focused. One more and then we're going further here. Hoo hoo hoo! All right, so. We have the Ace of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Could have been another person. However, I'm still picking up. It was a career-minded move. Didn't want to focus on both. Felt like you had to focus on career. I'm not saying another person was not at all involved for anybody. You know how many Geminis I'm reading for right now? So... But the more dominant element is money. But now, you see things on the same page as your person. Because check this out. The king and the queen of wands and the two of wands. Heavy fire is here. 
now it seems you're getting back on track. This chariot is taking you back around to where you belong. And you belong with your divine feminine. Cancerian energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, but I'm really, it's heavy, heavy, heavy Sagittarius energy. Yep, you're going back. Yep, 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 yep. You've been holding back your feelings. You will be reaching out to this person very soon, Gemini. Six of Cups. You're looking at it as the King of Swords. This is not another energy. This is the same energy. So I'm feeling like you're going to take a stand as the King of Swords and go back to this person. You've been quiet. You've been quiet. All right. What would be the outcome? Potential outcome, I should say. What is the potential outcome for Gemini with their love life for this reading? Spirit, show me the potential outcome. -hoo -hoo! <laughs> Queen of Swords. Really? Really? That's major confirmation. <clears throat> You guys are going to have communication after a period of silence, okay? Y'all going to have communication here. You're just worried that they're not going to accept your offer. All right, let's pull some romance angels. And this chair is getting on my damn nerves. Whoa, look out. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Some of you guys are getting engaged. We have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And we have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. I want to see what's next. You deserve love. You are lovable. Sagittarius is the archer. New, this is true love. This is the romance of a lifetime under the deck. So, I want to clarify this damn, of course, pay attention to the red flags. Of course, we've got to have some kind of damn shit in the mix. Alright, we're going to clarify with the mini... Steampunk Tarot. Pay attention to the red flags. Why is pay attention to the red flags here, Spirit? Why is pay attention? Well, aha! Page of Wands. Make sure somebody's not just playing around, that they're serious. That they're not just in it to flirt and have a good time and ghost somebody. Give me another card, please, for pay attention to the red flags. Make sure that this is a serious offer, guys, before you jump on in. Or make sure you're serious. Either which way you look at it. Knight of Pentacles. So, okay. I feel it's going to start small. If you guys have been in separation for a long time, that makes sense. Not talking, nothing. So, it's going to take time to build from going to the page to the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody's attracted and full of passion and play. You know, flirty and this and that. But, but, but. <laughs> okay, it's opposite in the camera so with this knight of pentacles this is somebody whose intentions are to settle down all right but they're going to take their time doing it they have to grow into the relationship with the other person 
However, the intention is good. The intention is to settle down one step at a time. Nobody's going to jump into anything too quickly, I don't feel. There, once the communication starts, it's going to be very fast moving. But I think once you guys actually are physically together, it's going to slow down and take a more casual, calmer pace. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Let me know down below if this is your story or not and if this makes sense. Okay? So guys, thank you for watching. That's your reading. If you would like a private reading, shadowbyutero.gmail.com is how you get in touch with me. And also, I have memberships open. Two tiers to choose from if you guys want to check that out. And I will see you later. Alright, bye-bye.